This is the day I've been looking forward to for the past year. Every now and then, a critical piece of blockchain infrastructure comes along that unlocks a new world of decentralized applications and transforms the on-chain economy. Four years ago, Chainlink introduced data feeds. Feeds not only helped bootstrap early DeFi, it unlocked new DeFi markets and use cases, securing billions of dollars in transaction value along the way. For the past year, Chainlink data reinvented itself with the introduction of data streams. A new generation of high-performance data and trade execution oracles to supercharge the next generation of DeFi. <laughs> to realize DeFi's true vision, we need to onboard the world's financial markets on-chain. Traditional derivatives, representing over one quadrillion dollars in value, is ripe for disruption and improvements through DeFi-based alternatives. And the opportunity is there. Crypto derivatives make up three quarters of total crypto trading volume and has shown tremendous double-digit quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth. However, when you look under the hood, only 1% or 2% of that volume actually flows through decentralized exchanges. With the fall of FTX and other centralized black boxes, we feel the urgency to truly develop derivatives on decentralized rails. Now, while the arrival of high-speed chains has enabled the creation of high-frequency trading dApps, the lack of high-speed oracles has resulted in infrastructural inefficiencies that lead to challenges in bootstrapping liquidity for decentralized exchanges. Let's dig a layer deeper. A derivative sex usually cares about three key parties. First, we have liquidity providers who deposit assets and agree to settle future trades at the oracle price, the oracle who submits the price, and finally, the trader who submits trades that are settled against the liquidity provider's assets. Stream tackles two critical issues or uh, decentralized exchanges face. First, when Oracle prices are latent, not updating frequently enough, and not atomically used to settle trades on chain, DEXs become vulnerable to Oracle front running attacks. In this example, the trader sees that the ETH price on Binance has gone up enough to trigger an Oracle on-chain update. Knowing this, he quickly submits a trade to buy ETH at the current on-chain price right before the Oracle update, and immediately after selling that ETH for a $20 risk-free profit. This is dire because this profit comes at the direct expense of liquidity providers. Second, protocols need a way to be able to swiftly and reliably handle trade settlement based on changes in the order book or price. Without an available solution in the market, protocols often resort to building their own in-house keepers. With in-house keepers, there's a high amount of maintenance overhead and lapses in reliability may result in liquidity providers getting saddled with bad debt. In this example, a delayed liquidation leads to the collateral being liquidated at an unfavorable exchange rate and the liquidity providers earning less than they should. So, overall, Trading is a zero-sum game where liquidity providers, not traders, should be profiting in the long run. When traders are able to make abnormally outsized profits in the order of millions of dollars over the span of a few months at the direct expense of liquidity providers, there are clear infrastructural inefficiencies that are not currently being met by the current generation of Oracle infrastructure. With this in mind, DataStreams introduces a new architecture built on 
performance, reliability, and verifiability. Streams contains three key components. First, we have a data DAWN that is updating at high frequencies and producing price reports off-chain with the lowest sub-second latencies. Then, we have an automation DAWN with on-demand price requests so that it can deliver reports on-chain for trade settlement. And finally, we have a Chainlink verifier contract so that you can verify on-chain with cryptographic truth that the report originated from a Chainlink DAWN and the data has not been tampered with along the way. With data streams, we're you can now deliver a sex-like trading experience on your decentralized exchange. Now, how do we get here? <laughs> with, with data streams, you now have access to the lowest latency price oracles available in the market to date. This chart shows the correlation between a benchmark exchange and the oracle's price lags. The lag with the highest correlation is deemed to be latencies. Stream's sub-second latency outcompetes competitors' multi-second latencies. This means by integrating streams, you are maximally protecting your decentralized exchange and your liquidity providers from Oracle front-running attacks. What's more, for our premium users, we are also delivering low-latency liquidity-weighted bid asks. Bid asks mitigates the risk of excessively large positions being taken on illiquid assets. To derive bid ask, our data providers are streaming raw order book data and simulating simultaneous buy and sell orders. With bid ask, you can now dynamically adjust the spread when opening a new position and proactively manage liquidity risk on chain. And finally, we also have a native integration with Chainlink automation through Streams Lookup. The Streams Lookup library lets your automation upkeep dynamically request low latency price reports so that you can use them for trade settlement on chain. Whether you're just starting out or you're already handling hundreds of orders per second, automation's OCR3 support scales with you. In fact, while testing with GMX, automation was executing orders so fast that the loading icon on their UI, ironically, did not have enough time to load. This is just how fast automation is. All these features come together to give you and meet your most demanding high-speed data and execution needs. In this example, this is how data streams interacts with GMX to complete their market orders. When a user commits to a trade, automation detects that event, picks up the relevant price reports, and delivers those reports to GMX's trade settlement function on-chain. Once on-chain, GMX can verify every single report to ensure its authenticity and use the reports data for trade settlement downstream. We are also very fortunate to be live with a number of next-generation DeFi protocols on Arbitrum Testnet. Our testnet users span a variety of markets, from perpetual futures to options to prediction markets. We're excited by the way they are using data streams to handle various advanced order types, from opening closing trades to handling liquidations to handling conditional orders like limit orders and stop losses. As Kamal mentioned, Chainlink data is a foundational pillar within Chainlink's platform vision. We've seen the number of unlocks we achieve 
through data-driven automation. And we're excited to see what is in store for us with data-driven compute and data-driven cross-chain applications. And we look to developers to inform us of their most pressing needs. One more thing, Data Streams is also now live with GMX v2 on Arbitrum 1. GMX is leveraging our key features across the board from low latency verifiable prices to liquidity weighted bid asks and soon automated streams lookup. We're excited to be supporting the leading PERPS decentralized exchange, and we see this as a long term opportunity to continue innovating and pushing out new features that unlock more of the de DeFi derivative space, but also the DeFi space beyond. So thank you for sharing this key moment with us here at SmartCon. <laughs> we encourage you to apply for early access today. Thank you.